site buckled under Race to World First traffic spike. The Race to World First page currently has more concurrent viewers than all previous races across both Warcraft logs and Final Fantasy logs, but has scaled up and, and is okay now. So that means that a lot of people were paying attention to this Final Fantasy World First race. Which turned out to be a bad thing for the people that got first place. So, what does that mean? That means that we had a... Uh, these were the people that were doing the, the fight here. So they cleared the raid. Good for them. Congrats on the quote clear. No logs, no VOD. For a region that likes to jump on other regions shit for cheating, and you come out of nowhere like this, and with a 9th, 10th, and 11th player, proof or disqualify, this smells like Billy Mitchell. Uh-oh. That's not good. So this is the clear. Oh my god. Oh, wow, that's crazy. What the fuck? Damn, so Yo, I bet he could have zoomed that motherfucker out even more. Oh my god. I bet he could have made that whole arena one pixel. Wow. This is what's going to happen when Yoshi P sees this. That's what it seems like, yeah. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. I know. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Look at the parser list. There's more players in the raid allows. You can't stop them, man. Hey. They're going crazy. It's pandemonium, dude. We're on the moon now. You just can't stop it, and it's a sad day. But it's also a good day for me, because now that these motherfuckers cleared, they're probably going to release the video, and I'm going to use their footage to clear, because I want to get the fuck out of this fight, because fuck you, this fight is too hard. You, this is bullshit. You said this was supposed to be easier than DSR, and it's fucking not. It's way fucking harder. So you know what? Is it hard? I can't even talk to you right now. I can't even talk to you right now. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh wow. Is that the ban list? Man. So basically, the people that were doing, uh, we're doing the world first for Final Fantasy. We're cheating, effectively. Zooming all the way out like that. Hardest fight to date? Not for them. Problem solved. Yep, there you go. They just zoom out. Race to a cheater for world first. I'm sorry, but how does this help? I don't know, but apparently it does. So this was so bad and so problematic that um effectively uh, this is what happened holy shit i played the game for 10 years i've never seen square enix and his gm take such drastic action they are literally removing all achievements gear and also the title from the associates of the quote world first team despite them not being directly found of cheating because of the video yeah, fuck them. That's my viewpoint on it, too. It's like, if you're going to do this, I mean, that's just what happens. I mean, I, I, I'm sorry, but, like, that's life. So even Yoshi P made a comment on this. I'm trying to find out where it is. There's, like, so many of these things I got up on the screen. I don't know where it is. Is it that one? No, it's not that one. It's not this one. Oh, man. I, I feel like I, I might have missed it. Well, anyway, uh, let's see if I can find it again. I, I probably it should be on on the the front of Reddit, right? And let me see, uh, top probably of the week, right? 
Check Final Fantasy. I'll probably look at it. Oh, yeah, here it is. Yoshi P responds to the world first Omega Ultimate hack drama. So this is what Yoshi P said. The Ultimate Raid series is the most difficult battle content within Final Fantasy XIV, and we released this content after testing that it can be cleared without the use of third-party tools. However, if the presumption is that this content will be tackled and cleared with the use of third-party tools, then any reason to develop high-difficulty battle content seems to be lost. It's very difficult for me to understand as a gamer what the meaning is behind using mo numerous third-party tools to complete the world first would be. I want to apologize specifically to the many of you who are continuing towards this content uh, without the use of third-party tools, consistently streaming your progress, and continuing to try the trial and error progress or process. However, please know that the development and operations teams take notice of all your passion. Be sure to take proper care of yourselves as you continue to tackle the Omega Protocol Ultimate. If the illicit use of third-party tools is made clear through our investigations, I, at the very least, will not recognize that team as the true world first. So he basically said, fuck him. He said, fuck him. It's not legit. They didn't do it. It's fake. And that's it. So he's pissed? Of course he's pissed. You got people cheating in the game. Here's the problem, right? Is if you got people cheating in the game like this all the time, if you don't fucking shit on them, then everybody else is going to be cheating on the next one. I, at the very least, not recognize it. Yeah, rightfully so. Yeah, exactly. It's not even a question. They got their cheat. So they got everything taken away from them, man. Base, say what you want. This is a base chat answer. It is. This is why world first racers need to stream. All the top teams clearing off stream are obviously tool assisted, and there are way worse add ons than Zoom hack at their disposal. I absolutely fucking agree. And you gotta keep in mind, this is the reason why people cheat. See, Yoshi P might not really be thinking at it from this direction, but think about it like this Who wants to watch the third clear? Nobody. Everybody's going to want to watch the people that beat it first because that gives you the most notoriety and that gives you the most attention. So people are trying to clear it as fast as possible, even if it means cheating, because that's going to attract as much time, er, sorry, as much attention to them, which then that attention is transmuted in the alchemical process of clouding into money. Okay? So that's why. And they got bullied and shunned by the community to quit and delete the game and their characters? Yeah, nobody fucking likes a cheater, man. Xeno has a short new video. Yeah, we'll watch it. I'll, I'll take a look into this. I'll watch that in a bit. Oh my god, I'll look at that. Give me a minute. What is this rest of these? That's a two fucking hour video about G4? Holy fuck, what is this? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, yeah, let me see this. Um, uh, no, 14... Okay. Yeah, we're going to look at this real quick. All right. I just want to make sure that, yeah, yeah, this is the video. Let's watch it real quick. Arthur's have one too. Well, let's take a look and see what it is. This is the third video? No, nah, we already looked at that. Yoshi P statement? No, no. It, it uh, it, like we already watched this. Emboldened. Damn, look at that angle. Oh, bro. Oh, man. Wow, look at that, bro. You know what this looks like? World of Warcraft. Wait, it, yeah, it even has the same fucking TTS. Oh my god. Tether 4. This, yeah, the gaming.com, apparently. Wow. Wow, they still live. What the fuck?
So yep. it's got zoom, zoom hack. It's got this might be the like rotation auto bot. rotation. I've yeah. never I've never used any of this shit, so I don't know. There was a program I used on stream. People wanted me to try it where whenever I hit a button on stream, it would show you what button that I hit. Like a time. Oh yeah. W World of Warcraft has this. I actually wish that that add-on was available or there was a plugin available for that. So people could actually see the buttons and the inputs that players do. But it's like, as soon as you, the thing is like, they can never really let you do that because like you, you, once you let people do a little bit of it, then it's just like, where's the line, you know? Timeline, like whatever People I hit, use SQL. you yeah, guys yeah. would see I mean, in it would this be bar, cool to have. I don't think this is it. Yeah, it's not like any type of auto bot or anything like that. It literally just, whatever button I hit, even if I fat finger it, it'll just go up there. It's more for like stream, I guess. Anyway, so this is a timeline thing. I've seen yeah. this before. So this basically be tells official. you like yeah. what exactly is happening and when. So like this blaster is in 28. Obviously zoom hack. What is this? Skill timers, okay, or spell timers, parser. I love how, like, the Final Fantasy community looks at this as, like, a, this, like, fucking absolute, like, abuse of power. This is just, like, un unequivocal, like, fucking cheating, like, just shameless manipulation of the game. Just something to be shamed of completely. Like, you should quit the game for how disgusting you are. And then in World of Warcraft, it's like, oh, okay, so you have the weak aura for that? Okay, good. You have your damage meter? Got it. Okay, you've got your rotation bot? Yep, of course. Okay, this is your input commands. And then, oh, yeah, that's your handy notes for, you know, the fight itself or, uh, you know, your uh, RT raid add-on. Yeah, for a while, this is like, this is the minimum that you need. You at least need this in order to raid in WoW. Notes. End of P2, LB3, death of Yeah, this is a, this is a normal mode raider. Holy fuck, man. In World of Warcraft. What... This one is down here. Maybe one of them is the auto rotation. I have no idea, man. Holy fuck, dude. This is insane. One. <laughs> yep. <laughs> See, you know, See that? They're smart. They get out with their circles. Those blue circles. This is Splatoon. At least I think this that? is Splatoon. See these like Bro, it does look like Splatoon, actually. Like the fucking, uh, that game. There's like all these bright colors and like splashes of color everywhere. It does. Like, yeah, it like tells you where to go and Worse shit, than Arkham Week Wars, crazy. yeah. This is the shit people are using, man. Yeah, like, it's funny because like people are giving- Like, let's compare this. That's actually really funny. Uh, let's compare this to Arkham Um... Mythic Archimond. Let's see, which guilds did this first? Did Method use the add-on? Let me see if they did or not. The Legion comes. Let's see if they did. I'm trying to remember. Uh, where the hell is this it? meaningless little world? Let me see. I, 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 I gotta find it. Come to my corruption. The land. Where's the beams? Where's the fucking beams? Like, I feel like there's gotta be. When the fuck are the beams happening? Do I not see I it? Coming. Yeah, Your I forgot even when they happened on the screen. I will what is it, uh, Ken? Uh, yeah, what was it even called? Right after the fire? Was that it? Oh, oh. Wait, nah, nah, no shot. That was it. The Legion will fall. What is it, uh, Ken? That's just where the fire goes around. Yeah, that's not it. Will not fail. Is it rock chaos? Tired of this pointless game. Yes. Okay. Here we go. All right. So basically, if you look right here, this is an official. UI for the world first kill of Mythic Archimond. So what it did is it used a, 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 a an add-on to triangulate the location of every single player that would use these different circles so they could move themselves in a location that they would not get hit by these beams. So like watch how this happens. So they get inside of that and then people hyper adjust or like micro adjust and they avoid every single one with this add-on. You see how this add-on tells them exactly how to, how to stand and where to go? 
It's not first kill, it's second kill. What says Mythic World first? I don't know, who cares? Three. Three Look at that. Right there, range One. finder. Now. So keep in mind, guys. Times. This is the world first. These guys are great. They're amazing. The best players. Completely authentic. They hate us because they ain't us. Good players only. Best WoW guild. Final Fantasy. Cheaters. Cheating? The best guild. Cheating? Again. The best guild. Mm hmm. But that's too far. Bro, why are you trying to make excuses about that shit? Like, what do you think? You think that they actually planned out Mythic Jailer to be done by somebody with no add ons? Get your head out of your ass. Add ons make the game worse. And wow, like, combat add ons make the game worse. The world first team, like, so much shit. Which, I mean, yeah, they got caught Zoom hacking. But, like, people don't understand that a Zoom hack is... That's not even, like, as deep as it goes. Like, you know, yep. that's just the tip of the iceberg. Like, it is. this shit right here is way fucking worse. I think like, people think a Zoom too, hack yeah. is, like, just auto-cheat. Like, if you if you use a Zoom... Or, sorry, auto-win. If you use a Zoom hack, you just auto-win. And that's, that's not it true is auto -cheat. at all. But, like, holy fuck, man. Like, this stuff... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. Yeah, this is insane. I mean, but the thing is, guys, like, I know this looks really bad, and it is mm -hmm. really bad, but the thing is, is, like, according to Square Enix... Well, it says here, add-ons will be used no matter what. Clear example with the Final Fantasy world first. Bro, just because people are going to use them doesn't mean that, that like, Blizzard should let people do it in WoW. Of course, bro, like, people are going to bot. That doesn't mean botting is okay in the game. People are going to, like, say... Uh, the N-word, that doesn't mean saying it is okay in-game. People are going to, uh, buy gold. That doesn't mean RMT is okay. Like, what do you mean? Like, just because people are gonna do something, you should allow it? No, it doesn't make any sense. Like, it makes sense in some circumstances, sure, but this just isn't one of them. This is on the same level as a beard mod. Remember that. That's Square Enix's mentality because they won't take a stance mm -hmm. on it. Or sorry, they have taken a stance on it. If a beard mod is against TOS, it is against TOS. And what is this? Against TOS. It's the same. That's how dumb it is. So I want you to remember that. Like, the next time you load up your game using the 14 launcher, not the official one, whenever you use the 14 launcher, Dalaman, I want you to remember that that is just as bad as this shit in Square Enix's eyes. I want you to remember Remember that because that's literally what they said anything i mean the thing is they have to have a hard line stance because if they don't then you're always going to have people that are going to try to push the envelope so it's one of those things where like everybody knows that this is a lot worse than like a like a, a fucking a g shader or some sort of uh you know like graphics pack Nobody, a beard mod, yeah, nobody really thinks that these are equal. Square Enix knows they're not equal, but they have to treat them as if they're equal because if they don't, then you're always going to have the players, well, what about this one? So because of this one, because you did this thing, and all well, the other emails, the mod was so, well, so, because that one kind of let you do the same thing, and then our mod works kind of the same way, but, like, it's not really exactly like that, because it, you know, allows you to, like, hack the game a little bit, but, like, not a lot. That's, like, only 10% of the mod. The rest of it is just, like, so, you, you see what I'm saying? Like, you just can't do it. You can't, you can't fucking, it's got nothing to do with console players. You, you, you can't do it because the moment that you let this happen, everybody, all, all bets are off. Third party, anything third party. Yo, you know what? If enough traction gets, you know, maybe they'll add this shit in the game. You know, that's what they tend to do. They tend to ban people that use this and then add it in the game later. Oh, maybe, I don't know. Maybe we'll see Splatoon later. <laughs> I got, I, I feel like there's a 0% shot that this is ever going to be in the game. Like, chat bubbles is a great example. Somebody brought this up. Preach Gaming used chat bubbles, chat bubbles mod. I also think that chat bubbles should be in Final Fantasy XIV. This is something that was in MapleStory. 
it, I think it's in RuneScape too. It's in it's it's in WoW. Like, it should be in the game. Now, just because it should be in the game, like I I don't think that it, it's just like it it's so nuanced because it's like if you're not a streamer and you're not using and you're using add-ons and these are like just cosmetic add-ons that don't give you any extra level of awareness like this is i don't think it's that big of a deal i don't and i don't think square enix thinks it's that big of a deal but if you stream the add-ons they have to take action because it's against the rules they have to do it because if they don't then they're not following their own rules and then everything is chaos. They have to do it. So you're making them do it. Like it's not even it's not even a question. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to play from the moon. Yeah, I don't know. This is insane mm -hmm. though. Tower two. Stream means you're advocating its use. Well, it means that it's okay. Oh, I see. This is the recommended rotation. Okay. Because like you can you can logically assume that like I think people that are doing something on stream, you can assume that what they are doing on stream is not against the rules of the game. Like th that somebody is not like going live and cheating unless Clara, you know, downloaded uh, aimbot onto their PC while they weren't playing. Th this is a, this is an assumption that a lot of people could could come to. I think that and that's fair. Okay. He can't, yeah, he has to be. Yeah, it's just realistically they can't do that. This is a dark night. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a dark night. I'm just looking at the ability. Tether four. Dude, look how far he's zoomed out, man. Holy yeah. shit! It's like at this point you're not even really playing the game. Holy <laughs> fuck, man, that's insane. What's yeah. my stance on design ultimates with mods in mind? Okay, like, look, I just want to say this. I think this ultimate's too fucking hard. Like, this ultimate's too hard. Maybe it is too hard. But I will also say that if you you can't design them with mods in mind because mods change. It would be impossible for them to do that. Because, like, at what point is a mod a mod and at what point is it a hack? Because you're going to, if, if mods are allowed, you're going to also have people hacking. And doing things that create extra levels of awareness. Like, in my opinion, I think anything that increases your combat awareness inside of an encounter in a video game, whether this is Final Fantasy or WoW, whether it's like a tracker, an indicator, a list, a, uh, you know, like a, a fucking like awareness thing, like, a you know, it plays a, an air horn whenever a mechanic happens. Any of that stuff is all bad. I think everybody knows that like cosmetic, like even nude add-ons, like I don't, who gives a fuck, who cares? But this stuff is actually bad. I thought DSR was the hardest. I thought that was the hardest that they should ever make it. So let me just say that right Taunt away. Boss. I think that this was Interrupt too hard. one. However, to answer your question, I don't think that they should ever design fights around mods. I don't think so because mm -hmm. then you'll have like wow shit. I don't think I'd want that in my game. Yeah, he knows my game. I don't think that I would want that in the game that I play. I'm not saying it's bad. So if you love the way wow raids are designed, no, I, I'm saying it's bad. I think it's fucking garbage. It's absolute fucking trash. I wish Blizzard would make all combat add-ons, DBM, big wigs, weak auras, all of it, disable it completely. Then, then that's great. I'm not saying they're bad, man. I don't, dude. I don't play WoW enough to care about it. That's you know? what I. But think. I just don't want Final Fantasy to be like that. In my opinion, like basically, you should never need like Splatoon to do yep. any of this shit. However, I do think that they should put a fucking Max parser in the Week game Wars? because. Well, that's what's so funny about it is like, it, it, it's like steroids in sports. If you made steroids in sports legal. Every single person in sports would be using steroids. Do you know why? It's because they work. And they work extremely fucking well. So, of course, Max hates weak auras. Because now, they have to pay somebody real money 
You think that these fucking world first guilds would have somebody on the payroll and all they do is develop weak auras? You think they just did that because it's, you know, Max's second cousin Vinny and Vinny's out of a job because he's an alcoholic, so we put him on the team to design add-ons that nobody uses? Bro, no shot. Like, Vinny's in there doing work. Vinny's in there making it happen. Like, nobody wants to deal with that shit. It's, it's really bullshit when they put DPS checks in a game that doesn't have a parser. It's just ridiculous to me. I just don't agree with that mentality. Like, I understand SC doesn't want people to be toxic and shit, but like, ACT is the least of their concerns. ACT would help a lot of players improve. I think it would. Don't get me wrong, it would also bring a little bit of toxicity too, but people are overreacting when they're like, if you put a parser in the game, everybody's gonna be elitist. Dude, everybody's already a fucking elitist, man, especially fucking filthy ass casual motherfucker. I can't really speak to this because like, I don't really play Final fantasy at the high end so like i don't really know like what it would be like if they added this into final fantasy but i can tell you in wow that nobody plays to kill the fight everybody kill everybody plays to kill the meters nobody cares about actually doing good damage uh or actually actually performing mechanics properly people only care about doing uh doing good damage and looking good on the meters have we ever played with one of them? It's Holy awful. Holy shit, man. They're so entitled, man. Jesus Christ. Nobody in this game sucks. Because if you say you suck, then you're gonna get banned. So nobody in this game sucks. They already tune fights around DPS checks. Just put a fucking parser in the game, you know, for the community. I also think that they should like, okay some mods, right? Like UI mods, like animation change mods, like mods that don't actually affect any gameplay or anything. It's just like a cosmetic thing. They shouldn't ban you for that. Because as I don't think that they can. I think that realistically, as much as it would logically make sense that some of this stuff was okay, and I think that we can generally agree that a lot of cosmetic mods are harmless and they don't matter, you can't open that door because people will never know when to close it, and there is no logical line that you can draw. Because that you, uh, you can look at, think about it like this, this is 5 minutes 48 seconds, you will have people saying this is only cosmetic. It's not playing the game for you. It's not doing anything. It is a cosmetic add-on. People will 100% say that. So they literally can't do that because then everything is cosmetic at that point. Twisted logic argument, it is. Uh, because SC it's, it's just says bad no faith, to yes. all mods, they'll ban you for a beard mod is the same as they'll ban you for all that fucking bullshit. And that they have watch. to do that. But then again, I don't really... Even though I'm really sure they don't want to. Party, man. I really don't. The older I get, man, the less I care about irrelevant shit. I don't try to police anybody that plays this game. But I understand, like, I'm in kind of a privileged position, right? I don't have to give a shit, right? Like, it's this isn't my game. So you have to kind of, like, look at it from SC's perspective, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's not really the player. Like, why the fuck does the player care about this shit? And, like, whenever I think about it from SE's perspective, I just, I genuinely think that they just don't want to add anything because they don't want to make it for console. They don't want to spend the time and the resources to make it for console, and they can't have something. I think it has nothing to do with that, personally. I think it has everything to do with the fact that if you open the, if you open the door just a little bit, everything's going to go through. On PC and not on console. That's why they're so fucking adamant about this fucking bullshit, you know, oh, you need to clear with the default, all this shit, man. Yeah, it's when Pandora's When it comes, box. like, in terms yep. of that, like, they're kind of out of touch. I feel like they're out of touch, because, like, the base UI is, I don't know, man. It's gotten a lot. I think that's true. It seems like the base UI could use a lot of improvements. Like, I, I don't know why uh, Square Enix doesn't do better improvements on the UI. I, I, I think that would also... I think Final Fantasy has a, it looks dated. And it doesn't look dated in a way that like RuneScape looks dated in an endearing way. It just looks dated, period. And that's because it is. Yes, it is. It is dated. Now, World of Warcraft circumvents this problem because they have so many add-ons and mods. And other games circumvent that because they're newer. But I do think Final Fantasy does look uniquely dated in a way that even WoW doesn't. And I think a big part of that is the UI. I think the UI the UI for this game is horrible. Better though. 
I think the base UI is Man, the fact that they can like New World UI is better. World of Warcraft UI is better. I would say Lost Ark UI is even probably better. It just it doesn't look that good. I think it needs to be better, actually. I do. It's okay. I don't think it's bad, but there's like a lot of little stuff that I wish you could do. Like there's a lot of little stuff. Like I'll give you an example, right? Like so if you look on my buff bar, okay? Like all of my buffs, so like my storm's eye, my inner release. Yeah, yeah. I want to make those buffs bigger than the other buffs. Like basically I want to be able to very easily tell my And like this is a logical thing that would improve his experience. Because for example, like that right there is a defensive cooldown. I can guarantee you that the defensive cooldown is more important than knowing that he has 49 minutes left on his food buff. Or that he has uh, his, his tank stance on, for example. So, like, obviously you want to have that kind of stuff. He wants weak auras? Yes. Oh, I, I think weak auras are good in certain circumstances. And this is the problem, right? Is that weak auras add a lot of functionality into WoW that does improve the experience of players in a positive way. The issue is that, and this is kind of why Final Fantasy doesn't allow any of them, and why WoW just allows all of them. Almost no game has some sort of, uh, you know, like half and half thing, where like some are okay and others aren't. It's because it's impossible to balance. I buffs apart from other people's buffs and you can't and you, and you can't do that yeah these are ui the size of like all the buffs like i only want certain buffs i wish you could totally fair also the text it's like this like pale pale green and sometimes it's hard to see i mean what does it matter yes, if i need glasses or not are you saying that like if someone needs glasses that they're just shit out of luck that's basically what you're saying just never yeah. type again <laughs> just never type it just never type again <gasps> It's like little stuff like that, man, that I want to change. But my point is, is like with mods and stuff, you can do that. That kind of stuff, I think, is huge. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, I, I think that they could do a lot more to improve the UI of the game and just in general improve the uh, dated nature of the way the game looks. Uh, I'm very excited to see what they're going to do. I think it's in 7.0 where they're going to be doing a lot of updates to like the uh, the UI and also to the uh, what, what do you really call it uh, to the to, to like the graphics of the game like the fidelity. So yeah, if if they can do that and like actually make the game look as good as I mean it doesn't have to look as good as Final Fantasy 16, right? It doesn't doesn't have to look that good, but I do think that Final Fantasy looks uniquely dated. Graphics engine, etc. Yeah, I would love to see it improved. Final Fantasy 16 uses the same engine. They can change the graphics to 14. Oh, I, I, do, I'm not. Look, all I'm saying is that I think that it would look great if they did that. I have no idea. MMOs are not graphically impressive by default. Yeah, but I'm not comparing. I'm not comparing Final Fantasy 14 to something like. I, I literally explicitly did not compare it to something like Final Fantasy 16. I'm comparing it to other MMOs. Guaranteed there'll be a graphics update. Yeah, I really hope that happens. Uh, we'll see what it is or when that's going to be, but uh, I have no idea. Hopefully it does happen. Obviously it's disappointing to see people cheating, but guys, it's just really no surprise, especially now that the Final Fantasy uh, Race to World First has gotten really popular. And because it's gotten so popular, you're going to have people that feel like they're compelled to cheat because there's more notoriety involved with it and there's more abilities. People can get more out of cheating. It's just that simple. If you put a reward behind something, you are going to, you know, incentivize people to cheat.